in this video i will describe the operation of full wave bridge rectifier circuit this is called full wave rectifier because this rectifier circuit will rectify both the positive and negative half cycles of the applied voltage and this is called bridge rectifier because this rectifier structure is quite similar to the structure of a wheat stone bridge if you look at the circuit structure of wheat stone bridge you will see we will have total four resistors p q rs connected like this and between this terminal and this terminal we will apply the voltage and between this terminal to this terminal we will connect the galvanometer in this circuit structure instead of resistors you will see we will have diodes d1 d2 d3 d4 connected like this see the direction of this diode d1 and the d3 are same and the diodes d2 and the d4 are in the same direction and between this terminal to this terminal instead of galvanometer we have connected a load resistor rl and at this terminal and this terminal i have connected the secondary winding of the transformer which is our input voltage source for this rectifier circuit in this circuit we are using a step down transformer therefore the number of turns in the primary winding which we will express as np must be greater than the number of turns in the secondary see i have shown the number of turns in the primary section is greater than the number of turns in the secondary winding here at the input terminals of this primary side of the transformer we are applying a time varying or alternating sinusoidal voltage whose maximum value will be 230 volt and frequency of the signal will be 50 hertz this alternating voltage will get lowered at the secondary side of the transformer let's say this is our secondary voltage the maximum value of this secondary voltage is v m therefore negative maximum will be minus v m see that secondary voltage will be applied across this terminal and this terminal therefore i will denote that voltage or secondary voltage as v i or input voltage for this rectifier secondary voltage will be applied between this terminal and this terminal let's say this is our a terminal and this is our b terminal and you will see i will take the output voltage across this load resistor by considering this side as positive and this side as negative our output voltage v o will be positive if the load resistor r l and the output voltage v o have the same polarities or I will get the output voltage as negative if the output voltage VO and the load resistor RL have opposite polarities. That means VO has the polarity plus at this side and minus at this side. If I get the load resistor plus at this side and minus at this side, uh, we will consider our output voltage as negative. If I get the polarity of this load resistor positive at this side and negative at this side, I will consider the output voltage as positive now consider the positive half cycle of the applied voltage in that case our secondary voltage will go through the positive half cycle when this secondary voltage will be in positive half cycle this a terminal will be at higher potential than this b terminal that means this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative that means this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive you will see the positive terminal of the applied voltage will be connected at the n side of the diode d1 p side of the diode d4 p side of the diode d2 n side of the diode d3 the negative terminal will be connected with the n side of the diode d2 p side of the diode d3 n side of the diode d4 and p side of the diode d1 this implies that the diode d2 and d4 will be in forward bias and the diode d1 and d3 will be in reverse bias if i consider this diode as an ideal diode i will replace that diode d2 and d4 with a short circuit and d1 and d3 with open circuit see i have replaced the diode d4 
and D2 with short circuit and I have replaced the diode D1 and the diode D3 with open circuit. A diode is replaced by open circuit. That means I can remove the entire branch that is containing the diode in the network. Okay, S Therefore, I have eliminated the branch of D1 and D3 from the circuit. The voltage difference between this terminal and this terminal is our input voltage V i now see our output current or load current will flow in this direction because this terminal is positive and this terminal is negative so our load current will follow this path from this a terminal to b terminal that means this side of this load resistor rl will be positive and this side of the load resistor rl will be negative as VO and RL have the same polarities therefore our output voltage will be positive okay now I will calculate output voltage by applying KVL in this loop if I apply KVL you will see from this terminal to this terminal I will encounter our secondary voltage or input voltage its negative terminal first positive terminal later therefore its voltage will be positive after that from this point to this point I will encounter this load resistor and its positive terminal first negative terminal later therefore its voltage will be negative minus VO so our output voltage VO will be equal to VI this implies that our output voltage will follow the same wave shape of our input voltage here our input voltage of secondary voltage is changing sinusoidally so our output voltage will follow a sinusoidal waveform if I consider the output voltage in this direction from 0 to pi our input will be in positive half cycle so our output voltage will follow our input waveform 0 to phi and our output voltage will be positive so from 0 to phi I will get an waveform like this now consider the negative half cycle of the applied voltage in that case our secondary voltage will go through negative half cycle during the negative half cycle that means from phi to twice phi interval this B terminal will be at higher potential with respect to this A terminal so this A terminal will be negative and this B terminal will be positive and between these two terminals our voltage will be applied voltage V i okay as this terminal is negative so this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive this negative terminal will be connected with the p side of the diode d4 inside of the diode d1 p side of the diode d2 inside of the diode d3 this positive terminal will be connected with the n side of the diode d2 p side of the diode d3 inside of the diode d4 and p side of the diode d1 this implies our diode d1 and d3 will be in forward bias by considering ideal model i will replace it with a short circuit and our diode d2 and d4 will be in reverse bias so i will replace it with open circuit open circuit that means i will remove this entire branch and this entire branch from our network see I have replaced the diode D1 and D3 with short circuit and D2 D4 with open circuit as this terminal will be at higher potential and this terminal will be at lower potential so our current load current will be in this given direction okay it will flow from this B terminal to this A terminal as this current will be entering from this direction so this will be positive and this will be negative usually a resistor does not have any polarity depending upon the direction of current it will get positive or negative side if the current is entering from this direction it will get positive at this side and the current will be leaving from this direction so this will be negative now see the load resistor RL and the output voltage have the same polarity so our output voltage VO will be positive now to calculate output voltage I will apply KVL in this total loop 
from this B to A terminal, I will encounter this VI and its positive terminal first, negative terminal later. Therefore, its voltage will be negative minus VI. From this terminal, from this terminal to this terminal, I will encounter this load resistor and its negative terminal first, positive terminal later. So I will get VO. So our output voltage VO equal to VI. That means our output voltage will follow the same waveform of our input voltage or same wave shape of our input voltage as RL and PO have the same polarity therefore our output voltage will be positive that means from phi to twice phi interval from phi to twice phi interval I will get an waveform like this here I have shown the output waveform for a complete cycle okay so this will be the output voltage of this breeze rectifier circuit now what will be the waveform of the output current see in both cases our output current will be entering from this direction or our load current will be entering from this direction therefore it will have the same polarity as this vo this vo has maximum value vm now let me draw the waveform of the load current or output current okay in this rectifier circuit our output voltage vo will be equal to the multiplication of load current and the load resistor rl usually we use a fixed resistor across this terminal and this terminal therefore this rl will be a constant so i can write output voltage vo will be directly proportional to the load current that means our load current will follow the same waveform as our output waveform so if I take the output or load current in this direction and omega t in this direction see here our output is changing like this so our load current will follow the same waveform from 0 to twice 0 to phi interval and from phi to twice phi it will follow the same waveform and its maximum value will be equal to I m okay that's it Thank you.